Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you not only how you can fix your buggy AI, but as a byproduct of this fix, you can also fix some crashing issues with CMU Emulator. Okay, let's jump across to my desktop and I'll show you this exact issue. The issue in question is this buggy AI right here. As you can see, any AI outside of a certain radius of our player character is bugged out and not moving. All you need to do is come to experimental, and turn on this full sync at GX2 draw done option and as you can see it completely fixes the AI behavior. Now some people report that when turning on this feature it absolutely tanks their FPS. The reason for this seems to be twofold. One of the reasons is threaded optimization in NVIDIA control panel found in 3D settings and CMU settings. A lot of people I have spoken to have found that simply turning this option off will fix the FPS drops. The other reason for these FPS drops seems to be related to where you are actually storing your CMU emulator. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the location of my CMU folder, I'm going to come into my file explorer, and since the C disk is where my CMU is stored but on my desktop, I'm simply going to paste CMU into this directory right here. For some reason or another, CMU seems to have some issues especially with the MLC path when you are installing DLCs or updates, especially so if you have non-English characters in your username. When I store CMU in my root directory like this, I always just drag and drop it to my toolbar so this creates a shortcut for launching CMU. So there we go guys, a very elegant solution that not only fixes in-game AI, but also fixes FPS drops when using this AI fix and also might solve some of your crashing issues when using CMU Emulator. Please let me know down in the comments if this works for you and as always remember to like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't and subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.